Hi friends, here's Will from Joeless Bodies. And today is the first edition of what could be a kind of like series if you wanted. Basically today I'm here to show you how to play some of our songs. In which case today's one is Letter for a Brick Box. Which is um, a very simple song to play, no worries. Even a beginner, you will have it. This is coming from a request from someone on Instagram, which I will tag in right here. Let me know down in the comments if you want one more. This video is not going to be in French for once. This is an English video. Donc si vous uh, parlez français, vous pouvez tout simplement cliquer ici sur le bouton des sous-titres, où est-ce que je vais probablement avoir perdu 30 minutes de ma vie à faire des sous-titres pour cette vidéo. So that was the main riff of the song, which is basically octave-based riff, which is fairly, fairly simple. So if we get closer on my fretboard, which is the guitar is in standard tuning, um, which is uh, E-A-D-G-B-E for those who don't know. So the riff starts on the sixth fret of the sixth string, in which it's an A. An A. So basically what you're going to do is to play two notes of that fret. And then you're gonna add either your pinky or your ring finger, no one cares actually, and then you're going to use use it to go on the third string in which you're going to be at this on a seventh fret. So it's gonna be an octave in which if you play those two notes it makes an octave. So basically after doing this you are going to do a variation on it which is basically going to be Play slow to you. And then it's going to be like the exact, exact same thing, but played just two frets higher or lower or whatever. So it's basically going to be here and it's going to be. And the, you basically repeat the same thing three times on different scales, frets. And so you basically start here. Basically, at first, we need to work on these things, which is... So you can now practice um, what you just learned, in which case it is... And for the picking, there's nothing crazy about it, it's basically just... In which case, I don't even know when I'm doing it, what I'm actually doing, but it must be like some, some kind of down... Oh, it's actually up, down, up, and up. So basically, after you've just done this, you're gonna be left at this point. And next to it is basically going to be three frets, or two, basically, um, higher, in which is going to be the exact same thing. So it's, you repeat it again. And here's the next phrase. It's basically four times picked on the E string opened. And then on the second fret of the A string and on the third fret. So it basically slowly is. And that's it for the main riff. So what we have, basically, if I play it to full speed, is... Mm -hmm. 
basically the effect pedal that I'm using is a nano clone chorus effect pedal and it's fairly small and simple there's only one knob on it and I basically put it at one o'clock on this song actually yeah, I actually use it um, differently on other songs so here's how it sounds with it <laughs> So now we arrived at a point where I have to show you how to play the chord parts of the song in which it is Alright, so we are back zoomed in and here is how to play it. It basically is, uh, in theory, it's an E major, then an A major, and then a G. So, basically, one finger on the second fret of the A string, one finger on the second fret of the D string, and then one finger on the first fret of the G string. And in that case, I just strum it in that way. And after that, I basically just move to an A chord in which you're supposed to play it like that but I actually use my whole finger to block all the strings in which case it's pretty much very easier well for me and in that way I'm gonna strum it I'm actually muting the last string here so it's on. And then strum it on. And I basically do a G power chord in which I don't play that note with a full G chord. I just play that one and I do a strumming. So that's basically it for the easiest part of the song. So that's basically the easiest part of the song, which is repeated twice on the song. And now we're going into another main riff. The only actual difference in that riff is that I might, in when I play it live, I might actually do a variation, in which case I will strum it instead of picking it. Instead of... I'm going to strum it. When in, in that case, there's only like one thing that's particular about this, is that I will kind of slide in, in which case I will pick, I will only pick once, and then I will let my fingers slide to the next thing, and then will resume my strumming, and in that case it does this. So that's it for the second part, but then we arrive at another chord thing, which is actually the same thing. Then we arrive to what we can call the bridge of the song, in which case I activate my distortion pedal, but I leave my chorus on, and it sounds like this. There's nothing crazy about that part, it's basically just power chords. So what a power chord is, for some people that do not know what it is, it basically is when you add a fifth of the note you're playing, in which case, it will be this fret if I play this one. So this is a fifth. But what I will do is that what I, I will add my pinky right below to add an octave, just like in the main riff, and in that case it will give it more power. So this is a power chord, basic power chord without my pinky, and here's with it, we'll have, we'll have the, the octave. 
So basically the pattern is I'm doing a power chord on the third fret of the A string. I will strum it like this. And then I will uh, again do my my slide in, my slide in effect, I guess. And And I'm going to slide to the 5th fret of the A string. So basically, what we have now is... And then, what we are doing after the, what we just did, is basically going to do the same thing, but on the 1st fret of the E string, which is the string higher. And... So here, the, the difference here is, um, so it's basically the same thing, but what I'm doing is that I'm sometimes just removing my power chord and just playing, well, it's, usually it would be like only this string, the E string, but I'm actually like strumming the whole thing like this. I sh it shouldn't, it's not really an official technique. I mean, guitar gurus would like kill you for doing that. But um, I do it anyway. And what happens is that I'm... So I'm... So what happens now if I turn on the pedals, it will sound like this. And for the last part of the song, it's basically just an E power chord, which is uh, only the, um, which is only the, which is only the second fret of the A string and the second fret of the D string. Oh, I play it with one finger. In that case, I will play it like this. Which is the same power chord structure as we did. And I will do an A, a G, which is fifth fret, third fret. And the difference here is that I'm muting it. In which case I palm mute. I use my palm of the, the palm of my hand. I put it on the strings to make a muted sound. So when I strum, it sounds like this. And this is where the song ends. It was a pleasure for me to show you how to play one of our songs, which is one of the easiest one, mutes. And do not hesitate to show us in the comments if you liked it. And if you did like it, I will come back to you for another episode and I will show you how to play our song Crawl Away. Is that a deal? Do not forget to subscribe and put the notification bell on to get some more content. And follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. See you next time. Oh, and by the way, there just might be a new single coming out soon. In April.